launch director is going through the uh, the commit criteria with the launch team and he is telling them that if they see something that would require that uh, we cut off that that is the thing to do that we are not going to be taking any chances uh, everybody will be talking on the same channel on what our channel 212 God and draw on the courage of life. Our countryman and poet, William Cullen Bryant, once said, America is where mankind throws off its last fetter. With your exploits, we lose one, one more. Who, he said, shall place a limit to the giant's strength or curb his swiftness in the forward race? Through you today, we all feel as giants once again. Once again, we feel the surge of pride that comes from knowing we are the first and we are the best, and we are so because we are free. For all Americans, Nancy and I thank you and the thousands of others who have worked to make this day possible. As you hurtle from Earth in a craft unlike any other ever constructed, you will do so in a feat of American technology and American will. May God bless you. And may God bring you safely home to us again. That's the end of the message. And John, we can't uh, do more from the launch team than say uh, we sure wish you an awful lot of luck. We're with you a thousand percent, and we're awful proud to have been a part of it. Good luck, John. Yeah, trip nine, mighty proud to work with you, fellas. You're, you're absolutely professional. But that's serious. And that's a mighty fine speech, and we sure appreciate it. Okay, uh, this is NTD on uh, 212. I'd like the verification. Uh, that was shuttle Space launch West. control. Our launch director, George Page, reading a, um, pre a message from President Reagan to the Columbia crew, which began, you go forward this morning in a daring enterprise, and you take the hopes and prayers of all Americans with you. Uh, launch director George Page added his uh, best wishes. He said, we wish you an awful lot of luck and that we are with you 1,000% on the trip. We are just about to come out of this uh, T-minus nine minute hold uh, in just about two minutes from now. We are having a check of the managers who are monitoring uh, this morning's launch, and uh, all of them who have been polled so far said that they are ready to go. Uh, we'll be ready to pick up in just uh, about a minute and a half from now. This is shuttle launch control. Okay, you want to set the clock and pick up at uh, 51 minutes past the hour. Normative, we're set and we're ready to go. Okay, we also have a go from LRD. NTD, BTC. Go ahead. I verified that the GFI power is on. Okay. What step is that, Bill? I have moved the D that we brought over from... Uh, I understand. Okay, previous 15 minutes, 12. Stand by, 30 seconds. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus nine minutes and holding. We are approximately 26 seconds away from picking up the countdown at the T-minus nine minute point. Nine minutes remaining between now and 7 a.m. 
when we expect to have a liftoff of America's first space shuttle. Uh, the launch team has been briefed on the way in which a halt can be called to the countdown. During the final nine minutes of the uh, countdown, and we're coming out, we're at T minus nine minutes and counting. The launch events are being controlled by the ground launch sequencer now that has been initiated and that will be in control up to T minus 25 seconds when they switch to the onboard redundant set launch sequencer. The ground launch sequencer is a part of the launch processing system and operates by relaying commands to the orbiter's onboard computers, which then report back to the launch processing system that the commands have been executed. The primary job of the computers is to check that all of the launch commit criteria, such as propellant loads, temperatures, pressures, and other measurements are satisfactory. The primary chase aircraft have taken off. Uh, a third T-38 will take off at the T-minus five minute mark. The timing of this plane uh, is such a tight window that a 15 second delay would mean that they would not be in the proper position at launch. The sleek T-38 supersonic trainers have such critical timing because of the small fuel load that they carry. T-minus seven minutes 52 seconds and counting. Uh, approximately 40 seconds away from movement of the orbiter access arm. Uh, this is the final arm which must be moved out of the way to provide for the orbiter uh, to clear the tower properly. Uh, this may be a very uh, interesting launch to watch from the standpoint that the orbiter is able to translate uh, slightly horizontally as it begins to lift off, and it also does a roll maneuver uh, which will uh, place it, uh, the orbiter, sort of on its back as it goes uh, towards the uh, proper inclination to the equator. T minus seven minutes, seven seconds and counting. T minus seven minutes and counting and we have retraction of the orbiter access arm, beginning to move back first uh, away from the orbiter and then to swing away. This was the walkway attached to the service structure and used by the crew to walk to the orbiter. The crew has been advised uh, to lower their helmet visors. Very slow movement by the orbiter access arm. T minus six minutes, 29 seconds and counting. The crew is beginning the APU pre-start. Uh, this, the start begins at the five minute point in the countdown. T minus six minutes, 15 seconds and counting. The APUs are turbine devices fueled by hydrazine, which provides hydraulic power to change the angle of the engines and the flight surfaces on the orbiter. T minus five minutes, 59 seconds and counting. Pilot uh, Bob Crippen had begun that APU pre-start, which uh, started about 48 seconds from now. The development flight instrumentation, which measures the stresses on the orbiter during flight, have been turned on and recorders uh, uh, store information for playback after landing. T minus five minutes, 30 seconds, mark and counting. Pilot Bob Crippen has signified the auxiliary power units are ready to be started. T minus five minutes, 15 seconds and counting. Coming up on the five minute point, four, three, two, one, mark. T minus five minutes and counting. We have had a go for APU start. APU start is in work. This is a start sequence. The final chase plane has taken off from Patrick Air Force Base.